say action. Action. All right. We are done here. We, uh, Nick and I have been here for a little over three weeks and we've uh, built this deck. We've got some bench seating. We've got over about 1,200 square feet of decking. That's about the a footprint of a house. Some houses are about that size. Um, and the theme here was to kind of match what they had already going on. She poured this concrete a while back or a couple months ago and she really kind of wanted the deck to look similar to the concrete so that's what we did we got the island mist trex decking color and this is the uh clam shell it's a little bit darker gray and it kind of breaks it up not having everything the same color and uh it's not your traditional handrail this is uh utility panels four by four squares and she went oversized with the uh top cap this is a two by eight redwood top cap that we painted to put it on top so there's plenty of room for drinks right here um, you can see how this long span is we according to like how you build decks you should be breaking them up and having all your splices in one one area so we put the, the ribbons in here with the clamshell gray color um, yeah let's take a look we can try to show you some of the details um, the stairs we put we uh, put the 1 by 12 fascia on the sides of the stairs, we built these first and slid this right in there. It worked pretty nice. Um, on these top, on these um, handrails, we used two by two little spindles to basically frame in this hog panel. So we stapled it in. So it's pretty solid. It's not really going anywhere. And then we also bought these little decorative post bottom bases to kind of cover up our ugly cuts underneath with the jigsaw and make it all look pretty. We even cocked it down here so water doesn't settle in there um we can take a look at underneath and we can kind of show the framing how did we curve this oh yeah the curve the curve um this, as you can see the sidewalk had a curve to it right here and she didn't really want everything to be so boxy so i said all right we can figure out a way to do that i just didn't know at the time but i figured it out and we were able to curve the end of that rim board and uh get it to bend around those choices and i basically put a uh, i found the center point right here and hooked um i just put my uh my tape measure right here and scribed it all the way around to get that curve to be proportionate to their sidewalk so very happy with how that turned out um let's talk about the framing underneath the fun part here in the first couple of days of the project we uh, brought over 12, or uh, brought over 120 bags of concrete and mixed for all these piers. So these are two by two uh, concrete bases with, we raised it up with sono tube to bring it above grade so water can't settle. Um, and we have over, what do we have? 52 piers in here? Mm-hmm. So we had, oh no. No, it's third. 42 piers. 42 piers. And we had 120 bags-ish. Um, that went in each hole. So we did four by 10 beams and we did two by eight joists. That's probably overdoing it, but we didn't get this job permitted. So we went ahead and overdid it on all the engineering. We even used uh, braces. Some people just set their girders on the posts and use any type of bracing, but we went ahead and bought all the hardware for it. But yeah, that's about it. You can see we also poured these little concrete pads that's just so she's gonna have artificial grass and a pool out here. I'm coming back to do their bocce ball court. They're gonna put it in a spa right here and we're gonna have a nice transition with this deck, doing another addition to the deck, adding on more deck. Um, but yeah, we poured these concrete on to be able to receive our sleeper board for our stairs. And we also did this, if you can see how this was cut, this angle transition for drainage was sloping this way so we basically cut it out right here got the concrete level so it can our stairs can be level and they're going to tear all this out later and that's detached from that so they can just pour right up to the bottom of that step but one last little final tour come on up we got stairs over here we got three sets of stairs total on this one set right here those are four foot wide this is an eight foot wide right here she wanted to be able to see out this window and out at her pool that she's gonna have going in. So that was the idea with these wide stairs right here. 
to be stepping down into artificial grass and looking nice. Really happy with how everything turned out. The client was a very happy, very nice couple here. Firefighters happy to do a, a work for them and it was a just a fun experience overall with this being one of our first projects under the license. So this is another fun part. You can just sit down right here and just enjoy your drink and talk. There's probably gonna be a little um, solo stove in here to roast marshmallows, something right here. But this is just a good hangout. Get outside, hang out with your family and enjoy the fresh air.